What do we got? We have rum. I see. Pretty rum. Yes, it is. It's a pretty little from, bottle. From, from guys we like. By the way, look at that bottle. Look at that bottle. It's a big bottle. No, but look at the bottle. It's look the at the shape. It's, it's, it's the same size. And it's the same, same shape. It's a big bottle. Yes, yes, yes. And a little yes. bottle is the same size. Yes. It's like it's a miniature. And I like miniatures. Oh, on the nose. On the nose. They're pretty and they replicas. Yes. So we have a Holmes Key single cask rum. We've done two others, two other reviews of their of their releases. Uh, one was a South Africa MOBA 2017, and the other was a single origin rum from Fiji. And from what I recall, they were pr both pretty delicious. Pretty good. Pretty, so pretty good. This one is from Trinidad. It's a 2012. It's a 10 year old rum. Shall I read? You should read. You already read. You already poured. I, read. I didn't realize there was so much to. I would have, I would have stalled more. I would have vamped. You vamped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Holmes Key Trinidad 2012 10 year edition comes from two casks from the now defunct 10 cane distillery in Trinidad. This all fresh cane juice, 100% pot still rum, was distilled in 2012 in Trinidad. Typically, a tropically aged. I'm sorry, tropically aged for four years, then spent six years in the UK before being bottled in New York State in 2022. This rum gets around. It's around the world. The original 10 cane rum brand was discontinued in 2015, and the distillery, built to produce this artisanal rum in the early 2000s, no longer exists. Wow, interesting. It was then double distilled in small batches in French pot stills and aged in French oak ex cognac barrels for one year. Shall we? A lot of work and then a lot of travels. Yeah, so this one is 59% Ooh. ABV. Ooh. We'll so run that up to a six. They are not messing around. Rum not messing around. Rum with a six. Yeah, almost. Almost a six. Sir, cheers. Oh, hold on a second. Let's do that again. Ready? Cheers. That better. Was, that was better. better. Ringy dingy. I got to slide the meat hooks to the bottom. Yes. Whew. Not as hot. For 59, I'm not I, getting... Are you I, getting a cinch? I, I, no, I leaned in and I got maybe a little too much vapor in the first blast. I'm going to turn this and now, I'm, I, now I'm just getting sugar. Yeah, but it's nice, yeah. sweet, delicious, like caramely vanilla sugar. Yeah, when like when you caramelize something in a pot, that's so good. So good. It smells great. We really, we've really been kind of branching out these last couple of years and getting a lot of rum. And I have to say, no regrets. No regrets at all. You dragged me kicking and screaming. <clears throat> I don't have to drag you tricking. It's rum, for God's sake. It's not pee. No, this is where you point out the fact you couldn't drag me if you tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, unless I cut you up. I had to hook you to something. It, it, had, it would have to have an engine. <laughs> little little tow chain on the back of my car. <laughs> that's what we need. Go. You got a torque on my car. 258 pounds feet. I think I could do it. Ooh, that's nice. It smells great. Um, yeah, sugar. Maybe there's like a little bit of like tropical fruit. You know, maybe. Maybe a little bananas. Maybe. Yeah, a little bananas, a little bit of pineapple, maybe a little bit of, yeah, not bananas and pineapple mostly, I think. Maybe just yeah, a bananas, touch of coconut. A bananas. It was like a bananas foster. Oh, stop it. Do you have bananas foster? This is your house. <laughs> this, <laughs> is your, this is your murder table. What'd you bring over? Did you bring anything? <laughs> no, you brought nothing. You table. brought nothing. I got bananas. I brought my sunny disposition. All right, this smells really is, good. This is really nice. I'm going in. Are you chewing your rum, man? Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's got some. That's got some. That's got some fire to it, but nice though. Smooth. I mean, the flavors are just really nice and rounded. This might need a little water. What do you think? My eyes are watering. Yeah. Well, you know what? We had the first sip. The first sip again. You get like it's like it's not super sweet. It's not really crazy sweet. It's not crazy dry. It's just kind of a nice rounded, mellow sweetness to it with it's, a little bit of like banana. It's really well balanced, but the first blast, you get all that heat. And then you gotta go and go for the second one. Yeah, it's easier on the second mm -hmm. one. It's like you gotta prime and pump. First one, grease the skids. You know like the old cars, they had to choke? Yep. You gotta let it, you gotta let out the choke a little bit. Yeah, and then you just kinda put it back in and you just kinda go. That's really nice. Hmm. So this is a, dis a rum distillery that is no more. Yes. That someone has purchased all the stock from. Yep. And married it in a additional casking. Cognac cask? Is that yeah, what you said? Yeah, they did. Uh, for an extra year, right? Right, they did ex cognac for four years and then four years. six years in ex bourbon. So it's, it's uh, 
got a lot of well-rounded flavors to it. Mm-hmm. Maybe, and again, because you said it, maybe I'm picking up a little bit of the cognac, a little of that candied bit. Mm-hmm. The iced animal crackers. There you go. Yeah. But that's, that, that, that's really good. That's very, very nice. I almost think it's too hot. You think? Almost. I didn't say yes. Yeah, but almost you know what? Hot. I adjusted on almost the second set. Almost too hot. You know, once you once you get used to it, you have to get kind of you know acclimatized, right. and you know not to, you know to just kind of, you know, like when you're in Maine, like some some folks are a little crazy. They jump in. You yeah, put no, your toe no, in the water. no, 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 no. Although if I put my toe in the water, I'm not going in at all. So you really do have to jump in. Then you don't have to go in. Yeah, I, out I don't have to go in. But that's really good. I like that. I like that a lot. I like I like that very much. I, I couldn't say if it's better or worse than the other ones. I remember really liking that South African one. That was really good. I'm just amazed at how different probably the sourcing is mm-hmm. of the sugar cane juice or yeah. sugar cane or molasses or whatever right. I'm using based on the geography of everything. Mm-hmm. And yet the, the flavors are so good mm-hmm. that it, I guess it, part of it is probably the distilling and part of it is the the, the casking and aging. Right, right, right. But it, that's, it's really good. And, 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 the, and maybe that it, it traveled a bit in the barrels. Maybe that helped, you know, do some of the barreling, kind of like the, yeah. the Jefferson Ocean. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They, yeah. They, Sloshed around. They a sent bit. it from one place right. to another, and then they sent it from there over to the U.S. again. Uh huh. Um, just it's just a real good rum. It is good. Now, and the thing is too that we've had so many good rums right now. That I think they're on par with whiskey yeah. in terms of drinking. I mean, I still kind of like whiskey just because I think it, there's more of it right now. You know, and we know more about it, and we know yeah, what we like. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you also um, rum to me still has a little bit of the. It's a cocktail. Uh-huh. You don't drink it straight, even yeah, though we've had straight. even though we've had so many good ones. Right. That you drink straight, but that that stigma in my mind right. is still right, like right, that's right. that's a cocktail still. Yeah. Because I, I just don't know enough about really really good well, rum. You just but, drank it. Did but, you like it? But but again, like we've had so much whiskey, uh-huh. and now we've had. A little bit of rum, right? But you know, the, the rum adventure is still underway, mm-hmm. and I like it. Yeah, I think it's absolutely. good. Absolutely. So yeah, I, I mean, I go like again. I don't know enough about it to really grade, but it's solid. Yeah, and I think the ABV really puts it over the top. Oh, they're, yeah. they're not messing around. No, that this this is a solid B plus A minus. This is way up on, on my list. Yeah, um, I'd say this is like an eighty nine ninety. I haven't really. It's really good. You know, when we get into these kind of rums, I yeah. haven't really had one that I really didn't like. No. No. And and I think I like the funkier ones even more. Mm. This isn't quite as funky no. as some of the Jamaica stuff. No. It's a little more approachable. No, but I think the, the, the lack of funk, mm-hmm. if there was such a thing. Makes it a little easier um, to dip your the, the fact that the, the ABV is so high, it counterbalances yeah. that. Right. Where it's still very interesting. Mm-hmm. It packed quite a punch. It's still very well-rounded. Yeah. And there's a, just great flavor in Yeah, it's good. It's really, really good. Really well done. Sir. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to Holmes Key for sending us along. We really enjoyed it. So keep them coming. We look Cheers. forward to trying more. Cheers.